Welcome to episode 10 of Acquisitions Incorporated Series 2. Wow. wow. I believe we have a recap prepared for what happened last time mm. in the lava chamber. Mm. And what a chamber it was. Mm. What a chamber it was. Chamber of the year. Yeah. That's Privet. what they say. It was the year of our lord. M21. I myself, a young interrogator, fresh in the service to one Omenran, found myself in a lava cavern far below the depths of this hellish chaos, home of nest of chaos we yeah, found ourselves basically. in. And in this place, uh, we made battle. We went uh, across a, a basalt bridge and found ourselves in the clutches of a lava tentacled monster, a hydra that rose from the pool of lava to do battle with us. Now first, we ran like cowards, <laughs> <laughs> but were thwarted by uh, machinations of the warp, which only teleported <laughs> us <laughs> back. It's getting blended. <laughs> that warped us back to the beginning of the cavern. So there we stood our ground. Jim killed himself almost immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing his cries as he stood proudly on the bridge and ate his own magic missiles will haunt me <laughs> to my dying day. Thus is the treachery of the beast with which we do battle. Mm. Evil in cast sanctuary uncertainty, who was sure that she could not be killed. Probably this is not true. <laughs> <laughs> but I have seen stranger things made true by faith. Uh, Bobby threw himself in between the many heads of the beast, one of which was cut down. I will not say by whom, and two more sprouted in its place, and then everyone remembered. Maybe you should not do that. <laughs> we also had our faces. Yeah. Yeah. They it took our faces. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Flew deep into the maw of the mm -hmm. beast mm -hmm. and struck at its heart with his shovel and his and his uh, pan, which the DM should note no longer exists. They were destroyed. <laughs> Just to make sure that but the beast yeah. critically attack. Mm -hmm. But the beast's chest cavity was also caved in and also destroyed. And uh, the entire time Certainty uh, tried to get the heads to fight with each other and using the guiles and evil that only a teenage girl in college can have, she did so. She turned these heads against each other, but still they were formidable and our party found themselves very gravely injured, very low on spell yes. slots. But Jim Dark Magic, and people say that Morden Kanan is our realm's greatest wizard. They're probably right. It's not Jim, but <laughs> he was <laughs> he was skilled. He, he was skilled enough to unplug <laughs> the toilet. Oh, unplug the, the warp thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the hell teeth. Thus ensuring our escape and also granting us bardic inspiration by using this uh, infernal subwoofer to play <laughs> heavy metal music. Now where I am from, this is called Pound and only twists listen to it. But here, <laughs> minions of the beast listen to it. <laughs> Stop laughing, it's making me you laugh. fucking dork. <laughs> but like in the best way. Yeah. Oh. Jim okay. dropped stalactites from the ceiling onto this beast. It was truly ironic that it was killed in its own home, by its own lair, by its own biome even. And it sunk into the depths of the lava. We proceeded through the lava-filled cavern, reactivated the gate behind us so that we would be able to hold strong here. We enjoyed the benefits of a long rest and using the power of Certainty's frost magic and Bobby's smash magic, we were able <laughs> to freeze the lava. Smash wizardry. Dig deep into the pit. Using oh, catapults. Oh yeah, I catapulted it. Never seen anything like that. The psychers, not to be trusted, but sometimes, occasionally, very useful. We're able to get the obsidian junk out. Touch it. And thus we find ourselves in this hell pit of scum and villainy. We did touch it all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, 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 kind of, we kind of switched it up that yeah. time. It was chunk toucher parenthesis S parenthesis. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, chunk toucher plural. Mm -hmm. There is a buzz in your minds yet again as you suddenly manifest in a large built environment two massive pillars flanking you with a strange 
door in front of you and another door over to your left. And somewhere inside this complex, you could swear you hear someone plucking the strings of an electric guitar. But as before we find out what is going on with the guitar practice, this, this, this strange place, let us go back 14 years. 14 years? A year later. Past. It is the middle of the night in the city of Greyhawk. And Omen Drawn staggers down the stairs into a basement in a part of the city that has fallen on bad times. A temple up above used to be devoted to Bakab, the god of wizardry, but the temple had a fire and is currently being rebuilt. <laughs> And so, Omen, you go down these slanted, damp stone steps to a door and knock nine times. And the door opens, and inside there is a red-robed woman flanked by two red-robed men. And she says to you, this is unusual for you, Omandran. You're late. Come in. I'm not, I don't, I didn't do it on purpose. I, have, I don't know what's happening yet. And so you step into this chamber. You are drawn through a red curtain and then another red curtain and then another one until you are brought to a perfectly square chamber. In fact, the whole thing is a cube. Not only are the walls covered by red curtains, but even the ceiling has red draperies. Drapery. Oh, Jesus. And on the f in the center of the floor, there is a circle with snaky sigils upon it and a smear in the center that looks vaguely of blood. I didn't do it. Are you sure? I guess I'm not. She looks at you. You have already given much. Your soul. You promised us the soul of your daughter. But it is such a pity that she died in the fire upstairs. And so, if your bond to our Lord of the Nine is to be made complete. You must give one more thing, and then you will have the power you seek, the riches you seek. Then the wizards will not dare drive you away and seek to shape your future. Instead, you will shape the future, Omen Drawn. And so, the one thing our Lord asks, is the soul of your son. He will continue his childhood as a normal boy, but when he comes of age, his soul will belong to Asmodeus. You know what will happen if you say no. You will burn for eternity and the flames of your agony will rip through everyone you know and have ever cared for. He won't even know it happened. And you can shower him with wealth. And only at the end of his life need he know that he will be serving in the great city of our Lord, rather than ascending to some despicable slope of Mount Celestia. I'm sorry, so this is Greyhawk Omen, right? Yeah, I was going to say, this is Greyhawk Omen. We don't this know. Is, this is Greyhawk. This is, this is the okay. local okay. flavor. Right. A year right. after. Yeah. Does Is he wearing like tattered clo clothing? Yes. You are, 
you are wearing tattered clothes. Uh, you have you have bags under your eyes. Uh, you are scraggly and scrawny. Yeah. Uh, but you can feel the power just at your fingertips. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm. This must. This must not have been a great year. Yeah. This must not have been a great year at all. And I have a son, but maybe I don't have the wife that I thought I knew. And also, I'm looking at this diorama, and I see a square that has something very similar on it. Yeah. And so they're all they're waiting for me to offer up my child. She says, all it takes is for you to prick your finger with this dagger. And she pulls from her red robe this dagger with a wavy blade. A Chris. And just <coughs> drop one drop into the center of the circle and utter his name. He will feel nothing. Only at the hour of his death will he realize that he will have glorious service to perform within the palace of Asmodeus. Yeah, I mean, I, I take the uh, Chris. She's not performing the ritual, right? No, she hands it to you. Yeah, I take the Chris, mm -hmm. and I immediately grab her mm -hmm. and put her on the altar. She is amazingly calm. That's scary. I don't like that. <laughs> scary. She looks at you as you hold, and she makes a gesture to the other two because you see the other two have started to pull blades, not, not, yeah, a thame, yeah. but like full on, yes, like swords. Swords, uh, and she makes a gesture. Oh God! My soul has already been given. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever you do to me, I will come right back. Your torment and the torment of your son and everyone else that you have cared about will be exquisite. Again. A nightmare. Painless. And what all happened? the powers, and all the power will be yours. I have to, I can't be anywhere. I can't be anywhere near this. Um, alter when this happens. I'm trying to get out. I like flung her in under this. She's weird. <laughs> She's fine with it. Um, I have her dagger, which I hope is some mark of station or something I can use to get out. I, I have to get out of here. Like this is this is wrong. Whatever I've been doing is is wrong, and I can't allow this to continue at all. I need to talk to that weird old guy who told me to stay away from Jim because that's when all this started. Is this your final choice? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm like backing my way toward the stairs, and I say I don't really remember having a choice in this at all. You always have a choice, and you are exercising it now. She again, she raises her hands because both of the men look like they are getting ready to stab you. Let him go. Our, Get out. Our Lord never presses anyone into service. We are only interested in willful obedience. And if you do not give it, then it is not received. You may go. But no, because you have not completed the rituals or the sacrifices, there will be a price to pay by you and your family. But I hope you sleep well knowing that your soul and your sons both remain yours. But do remember, you did sign the contract for yourself. And so like even though you still own a portion of your soul. 
part of it belongs to us. And there will be several prices to pay. I, I, on my way out, sort of framed by the door out, I say, you can come get it. Dang. And I, I'm oh, walking oh. out like backwards, and then I scramble up, like su- supporting myself on the walls of this staircase up and out. And uh, as you leave, there in the moonlight, in this dark street, there, there is a beggar across the street with a bowl out, sitting out late at night, and just says, can you spare a coin? I put the sacrificial Chris in the bowl. And looking up at you, wearing a black robe, there is a halfling with rosy cheeks. And the halfling says to that omen, that is not what I expected. I smell impossibility on the wind. And now we zoom to the present day. What? Yeah. God. What a shit show. What happening? Yeah. So okay. Every omen just has issues with the devil, well, I guess. Well, no, there. I think that they're all some kind of a play thing between Timora and Asmodeus. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They just can't get away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. They're are locked in an eternal yeah, battle. Yeah. Part of the system. There's just part of it's some error in there. Um, so yeah, as Modeus. Hey. 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 Nice. As you all materialize here, you notice something immediately about these two large pillars. They are covered with eyes yeah. and mouths. Both. And this one, on the other right, the mouths in the pillar. As you fully materialize, they all say in unison, there There is is no no tomorrow. tomorrow. And then this one, all the mouths in unison say, I I am am the muffin. muffin. And I need you all to make a wisdom (laughs) saving throw. So it sounds like some impossibility. I thought I was the muffin. Yeah, exactly. You can be the muffin. Fine if you want. (laughs) I don't think so, because I rolled a two. 18 plus four is 22. Constitution? Wisdom. Wisdom. Uh, did anyone on this wisdom save get lower than a 10? Me. I'm the muffin. All right. Uh, Skill issue. The, mm-hmm. the three of you, uh, the combination of there being no tomorrow and being the muffin, Mm-hmm. Your your minds Too much. suddenly <laughs> you suddenly just overload. This don't make sense. <laughs> and and uh, omen and certainty. You see the three of them. They look like they just went catatonic, <laughs> but they're all just standing there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and toward the three of them now, tentacles are sprouting out of these two pillars Mm-mm. and reaching well, yeah. for them. It's just, it, it's a, it's like any other, um, like carnivore. Yeah. It's some, it's, it's some advantage, it's some advantage they have for prey. Yeah, I, oh gosh, okay, okay. I, um, I pull an omen. I, uh, yeah. grab all three of them as best I can, um, Underneath my hell cloak, my devil priest raiment, and I cast protection from good and evil. Mm. And so, what are the effects of that? As this, um, as this light emanates out from you. Yeah, um, I can choose a type of creature, um, and creatures of those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. The target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. And. If the target is already charmed, frightened, or possessed, the cr- target has advantage on any ah. new saving throw against the relevant effect. Nice. This nice. is hot. So. <clears throat> That's the old school stuff. Yeah. And I'm gonna ask my dad, I'm gonna be like, uh, 
fiends, d d d devils, aberrations? I, I... Tentacles and thinking aberration. Yeah, uh, so there's I mean, many <clears throat> schools of thoughts on well, it. Well, here, no, real, real quick, I'm gonna cast my Professor eye. Professor Crumley said that usually tentacles and multiple eyes are a form of aberration, but really, I don't know if this is a well, fiend absolutely. thing. Well, uh, absolutely. I'm gonna cast my eye toward the iconography on this door. What do I see? You see, it looks like a wheel, uh, and in the very center of it, uh, there is an eye, and it is a snake eye. I, I don't think it's aberrations. This is too orderly. I mean, look around. Like Fiends? this is, yeah. I, I, I think evil is going to be, going to be the, the button. Yeah. It, it, it's so, just again, it's not fuck. this. It's okay. too orderly, right? I choose fiends. I, I uh, th using the quill that I believe is a feather from my mom. I'm not sure if that's true. I cast a spell to protect my my friends from fiends. And how long does it last? Ten minutes. It's concentration. Okay. Uh, there is a a sort of a tingle over you, but the three of you remain enthralled by these horrific <laughs> columns. Uh, why don't we go ahead and roll initiative? Yeah, okay. don't we? Why don't we do that? Right in it. We'll have advantage on the next saving throw. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So 14 minus 1 is 13. 13 plus 1 is 14. All right, so Evelyn, you're at 14. Mm -hmm. uh, Omen, what was that? Uh, 14 minus 1, 13. 13. So it's Bobby. 60s. 4 plus 1 is 5. And certainty. 13. Yeah. 11 plus 2, though. Uh, between you and Omen, which of you would like to go first? <laughs> <laughs> we pointed at each other. Yeah, yeah. I mean. It's your call. Yeah, go for it. You're the senior exactly acting right. employee. Exactly so. right. It's okay, I will go first. And then Jim. Uh, four plus two is six. All right. Agreed. <laughs> True. So I know one thing. The, the math <laughs> checks out. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so first up, we've got Evelyn. All right, I'm going to save versus the enthrallment. And you have advantage. Advantage. You're right. One Oof. is a 17. One is a 3. I'll take the 17. Mm -hmm. And this is wisdom? Yes. It is. So that is a rude 20. Yeah, it is. Uh, you snap out of it. And I just realized I can only do this on one willing creature, and I thought I could, I was just touch. Is that, is that a problem? So I, I uh, choose who got it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. She, she did pass. I already used it. You already well, passed. She already passed. I passed on yeah. the first yeah. roll. Yeah, technically she passed with a good disadvantage. Um, oh, God. It's going to be Jim. I'm, yeah, I have a lot of hit points. It's going to be Jim. I have a lot of hit points. You can get chewed on by yeah. these columns yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah. I love mouths. So is the but the sentiment was for all of you, but it really yeah. just worked on Jim. Yeah. yeah. The save is my action. No, 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 oh. I'm sorry, I was saying, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, to certainty. So, uh, no, you, you get to take your action as normal. And you now can uh, see that more and more tentacles are sprouting uh, out of these two pillars more, and also the mouths are multiplying, as are the eyes, oh. and the eyes are, are are all either snake eyes or cat eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, bestial? Yes. Do it, does it look like these tentacles are spreading like they would they would get us over here or like I can move out of the way of them? Uh, you you feel like you would be able to get out of, away from them uh, if you were more than five feet away from uh, either of the pillars. Okay, so I know Certainty just said that she is she's working on Jim. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. grab catatonic Bobby and try to drag him away uh, with me. Just, Out of the way. All right, uh, I assume, Bobby, that you do not resist this? I do not, I, okay. can't, I can't, right? Um, no, you could. You You're sort of goo no. troop. Yeah, you could no. say, no, no, you have yeah. to you have to grapple me, Evelyn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta grapple me Sorry. for yeah. it. Yeah. We had a whole thing with grapple. voluntary grapple last yeah. game. Yeah, okay. I, I voluntarily. Yeah. It's a powerful brain. Somebody dropped yeah. their dice. So, <laughs> and, 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 so, and so Evelyn, you can, you can move Bobby at half speed. Uh, but as you do, Evelyn, uh, one of the tentacles lashes out at you as an opportunity attack. <laughs> Uh, and... Nope. Nope. That's caught. Miss. Nope. Mm -mm. Yeah, let me get this junk out of the Bad my tentacle. Den. That's a miss. Oh. I rolled a 20. Oh, well, that's the opposite. A natural 20. Very Yeah, yeah, not, not like your gross 20 that you keep rolling. I know. Well, Ugh. 
Uh, oh god. So god, that is a crit. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> when he seems like yeah. oh, that's a lot. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, look, 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 he's on our side. Yeah. Like, shit, guys, I don't know. Poor. I like to imagine even like went over to grab Bobby and turned back around, and there was a tentacle just well, cast right across his mm-hmm. face. That's so, a lot of. Di- I'm hearing so, a jingling and a yeah, jangling. Yeah. So, as this <laughs> tentacle comes out, a mouth sprouts on it and Yuck. sinks its pointed teeth into you. Toof. Uh, you take. I, I like have it. math to do now. Uh, uh, you don't have to do it. 86. You're a grown up, you don't have to do it. 25. Yeah. You you take 35 Holy piercing damage. Holy shit! Oh, get out it was of a here. crit. We, no! Yeah, we just can't be here. Evelyn goes from like, oh, I'll help you, Bobby, to completely dead. Just like, no life in her whatsoever on the ground. We just, uh, we just, got we just long rested. We just long rested. <sighs> and that's in the shitter. So you were just zeroed out? Mm-hmm. All right, so Evelyn falls to the ground. Uh, so Evelyn, you actually fall here, meaning you you got Bobby this far, uh, and... That's some progress. No, really, he's still in range. <laughs> There's, I changed nothing, I did nothing. Mm. Well, that's not true, you did fall on the ground. I did take mm-hmm. a huge attack. Yeah. Yeah, that... That was a nasty crypt. This isn't even Jeez. the boss yet. No, I mean, we're in the this, first, this, this front is the door. This is the welcome door. This is the doorbell. This is, I was gonna say, this is yeah, the doorbell. This door is bell. the ring. This is the ding. If ever there was a definition ding, for being bitch slapped, yeah. it was yeah. that. Yeah, no, it happened. Oh my god, this is his ring doorbell that's it like is. recording us oh. when we come in. <laughs> yeah. No soliciting. Oh, wait. It is the final level. Yeah. He's smiling because it is the ring doorbell. I bet you these eyes are reporting back to him. Uh, Omen, Guaranteed. What do you do? I don't know. He demanded I go first, still shit if shit. I recall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to go first. If it's, your, if it's your first night. Couldn't I have just like pushed Bobby in front of me? Like at least he got out of the way? Yeah. Because I that's oh, why sure. I, was, I was getting behind Since him. Since that like, was your trajectory, yeah. let's, Bobby is okay. out of it. Well, that's, that's also a Thank mega you. Evelyn play. Yeah. Where, uh, even if, she, if, even if um, she's going down, she's just pushing yeah, him out. Yeah, go out. Dad's fine. Uncle Jim's fine. That's hella fine, yeah. I'm gonna great. like uh, forward roll and uh, try to further push Bobby towards the door and if we'll see how that goes. So, uh, Bobby's far enough away, I think. First off, <laughs> certainty. <laughs> the animated. <laughs> oh no, no, I, I'm sorry, it's Omen next, not certainty. Oh no, we, we had the same we number. We had the same, and, and so we he agreed. Said I, I, oh, you've decided to go. Yes. two of us. Yes. All right, all right. Yeah, so, uh, certainty, uh, because you are starting your turn mm-hmm. within 20 feet of either pillar, you have to make the wisdom saving throw again. Mm. <sighs> Except I've seen this moment, and it's a 16 on the oh, die. Nice. Yeah. Which makes for a 19 total. So you resist the strange gibbering coming from the column. Yeah, there is a reality in which the same thing happens to me. I reject that reality, yeah. I make my What do they say to her, though? Why would you ask him that? Yeah, we don't want to Why would you ask I him that? I am curious. Is it another Why would you do that? Because it's it, the last time was weird. There might be something else weird. Do you listen in? Because you're. I think there's two realities. I think I not, do. Yeah. You're trying not to let it mm-hmm. get in. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one of the pillars, the one before that was the muffin, mm-hmm. says. There is yesterday. yesterday. And I think I like that less. And the other one says to you, it's, it's up, up to you, you to decide, decide if there will be a today. I hate these. I hate these. That's very motivational, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I wanted to hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's like grind set mindset. Yeah, it's Sigma. A, it's, a, it's a successories I, sort of situation. I think that being gonna kind go, of iconic, right? I yeah. go, yeah, you're right. And I yeah. Yeah. Out. yeah. <laughs> Certainty's like, I'm going to start a podcast and yeah, motivate today. people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I didn't. I was too afraid to roll for it. I don't blame you. Yeah. The you stakes are too high. These fucking After I got literally ended. Yeah. Certainty, you are not within reach of either column, so if you move straight forward, neither yeah. will get an opportunity to I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move straight forward and then move diagonally, put my boot on, on Bobby's butt and just yeah. Sparta kick him even further. She's between Scylla and Charybdis. Basically. And then I'm pretty sure that will be my action. So my bonus action will be... Uh, uh, you can move with Bobby again. It just basically oh. every... 
basically every five feet you move with Bobby mm -hmm. just eats up ten feet. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Sometimes on like enchantments and charm stuff, I don't know how this works. If you do damage, they can attempt to re to do the reroll like you can with Tasha's hideous laughter. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I should just like open hand slap him. Yeah. Right. Should oh, I try it? just just try to yeah. wake him up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or does like tickling mm. works, or doesn't hurt? I I slap <laughs> Bobby. Um, as you move him, and uh, I'll allow that just to be sort of a part okay. of the move. Yeah. He doesn't respond. Oh shit! Sorry, sorry, Bobby. <laughs> so we didn't end up helping. Uh, and then it's just uh, fine. I'm gonna reach back, put a finger on Evelyn's forehead, and cure wounds. Evelyn, already, wake up! I'm already <laughs> low on spell slots. Jeez. I just started. <laughs> yeah. I just started. Luckily, we have some. You recover some juice. seven. Thank you. Oh boy. Omen, what do you do? I don't know. Uh, uh, well, first what you do is make the wisdom saving throw. <laughs> make the wisdom throw. <laughs> saving throw. Again, mm -hmm. remake it. Yep. You got any more of those dice ready to Do you to want go? me to save it? I think that... Oh, did you want to move further away? There's no reason yeah. not to. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think these things are just going to keep coming out. No, it's about the, the gibbering. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I would. I'm trying. I that was my intent, but I thought I have to move with half movement when I'm moving him. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know how far it's I could get. Scooch. I don't have the. Mo I'll tell you my movement speed. What's your movement? I got 30 feet, so I don't think I have that much. No, yeah, that's yeah, about right. That's you're, yeah. right. You're where yeah. you are. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So, can the portent so be used? Can the portent be used after the roll? No, it has to be before. My guess is that Jim's wisdom is not as good. Jim is safe. Jim has protection from. Oh, that's right. Jim so has, not only Jim do has they advantage. get, not only does he get advantage, they have disadvantage when attacking him. That's like really he good. is, he is protected and sealed. And my wisdom is really good. Is it? I don't know why you would say it's not. It's hurtful. <laughs> what, what, what's your wisdom? <laughs> Plus three, on saving throws. Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not as good. It's, it's you. It's you that I'm worried yeah. about. But you <laughs> have the highest AC, like so there's no, no. just. That's the main thing. So this, but this is about the voices. So let's, I'm going to roll and I'm going to stay safe from these voices, theoretically, as a statistical matter. Yeah. Right? 14. Sorry I hit you. You succeed. Okay, hey, I bet you worst. Do you listen it's to okay. what they say? No, absolutely not. I know better than that. Um, now, I'm sort of here at a diagonal, and so I'm trying to figure out if this makes me subject to these, these whippy tendrils. This one, if you move away, this one would get an opportunity attack. But that's the, but that's, I, I have to move away because of how to. bad. We yeah. need to get out of this room, absolutely. Yeah, exactly, because of how yucky it is. Yeah, we gotta go. So I, I gotta make a break for it, get into this central column and get all the way to the door. Yeah. All right. But what about that's the play. treasure? Mm. Wait, listen, you, you just woke up. You're welcome to yeah. go get this treasure. Yeah. I know you crave it. I do, but I also am scared. A flight, uh, flight feet. 13 to hit you. Incorrect. Uh, right. That's uh, well. Uh, the number is correct, but it's insufficient. Mm. So Let's now go. they bo both, go. both pillars have now spent their opportunity attacks. So. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. now it's time for uh, so Jim free. Jim, Jim okay. you get free ninety nine. Yeah, so it's free ninety nine. You got two options really: big door or door well, number I'm two. Uh, is it my turn? Uh, no, Omen. It's not my turn. Omen, Omen it's the rest of your move. turn. Oh, 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 so, they, so they haven't. So now they're done expending these, right? Yeah. So you could move towards the door if you want. Uh, over here. There might be some Would treasure. Would that please you? You like treasure? I crave it's not treasure. About me. But also, I can escape. What if behind that door is the polar bear from Lost? Yeah, probably. You, you're just so assuming. The likelihood, the likelihood is very high. A, a I would say. From Lost? But we'll never know if we don't. Look. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna run over to this door and kick it. They said there Kicking is the door tomorrow, so uh, he's deciding that there yeah. is today. No, there yeah. is. The, the door opens easily. I'm just going to keep going in, into the into the, oh. a, into the ante chamber. Oh, there you go. It, <laughs> you kick it and it opens with opens difficulty. The other way. Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Flip it around. <laughs> oh, you got it, you got it. We have, that. with the power of Dwarven this Forge, is, where, where would I even it's, never it's never been easier. It's never been easier. There we go. Does Look this, at that! You kicked it in. Does this please you, Dungeon Master? No. Yes. I am. I am here inside the threshold, peeking in, looking for the most valuable treasure. So this room is a mouth. <laughs> no, actually, it's a vestry. Uh, oh, really? All along there, there are hooks, and hanging on the hooks are men and women. 
black <laughs> are are robes like the ones that, oh, exactly. I know exactly what it is. That you already got earlier in the dungeon. Mm. Um and then there is a table over here of masks. that has masks. And then there is symbols. Si- there are symbols, but then there is something else that you did not see earlier when you got your cultic accoutrement. Right. Uh, you a s- cultrement. You <laughs> you see a case on the wall that is filled with those Chris knives, like the one <gasps> that another me might Make have Make a seen. wisdom saving throw, you take psychic damage from seeing it. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> All right. So I'm, I'm gonna grab, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a grip of. Maybe the pillars won't fuck with you. Robes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we're already dressed yeah, in But not the masks. I experienced a lot of acid. Yeah. I lost some shit. I'm just saying, I, I just wanna have a few extras um, so for where, the next turn. Where do you run forward to start gathering up? Costuming or oh, why the, is he the asking safe. That? Why the, is he asking I, I that? I go where it's safe. <laughs> where, <laughs> where, where, ex- where exactly are you going, Nilman? Honest, honestly, like this. this is the extent of my movement, so I'll have to wait till next turn. <gasps> okay. Mm. Hey, what is your passive perception? Hi. Um, my passive perception. I love you, but you're gonna. I need like tums. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Fourteen. 14. Yeah. Uh, you. With your your. Elven senses. My inheritance. You you notice right over here in this corner. What? It, it's kind of an annoying sounding drip, drip, drip. But others don't. No one else hears it. But you just you happen to clock it. I as hate you, it as you walk in. Perfect. Uh, we'll find out later. Yeah. I'll uh, investigate. Jim. Uh, you now need to make your saving throw. Yes, with advantage. Right? Because uh, of yes. certainty? Yes. yes. So, certainty guessed fiend. Oh, no, yeah. my dad guessed fiend. I guessed aberration. Yeah, That's true. I was you're right, right. It's pretty moist. Mm-hmm. But you cast it as fiend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're correct. <laughs> oh! See, like I said. This is why I oh. listen to dad. I always okay. gotta take advice from dad. Early, right? see, see, it turns out, little meta moment for the dungeon from the dungeon master. Mm-hmm. Normally, you would be right. <gasps> but because of the effects of the obelisks and what is down here, oh, these insane. these have changed. Nice See, that's why I asked Dad, because I had book experience, and I said, well, textbook-wise, this is an aberration. Exactly. Dad, but, what do you think? But He's got the real world my experience. Gut. I'm not you know ready to replace him it's yet. It's a bad experience. Natural 20, Jeremy. Mm. Whoa! Huh? Yeah, that's how I do it over here. Uh, th- there you that's the greatest wizard uh, in the world. You were able to ignore the whisperings from the columns, but do you want to listen anyway? Again, you're 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 resisting the magical effects. Then yeah, I'll take a little listen. I'll turn the volume up just a nudge, uh, just a touch. What are they? What are they talking about? Uh, this one says, "If, if only, only certainty, certainty had, had been, been pulled out, out of the, the fire." fire. Oh, it's connecting these two things. And this one over here says, his son's son soul would have been delicious. What the fuck? That probably means nothing. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, GTFO? Um, well, I mean, they were talking about muffins earlier. Yeah, exactly. G- I, I just, I'm sorry, I just have to have them Two days ago, Jim thought he was in a movie. Yeah, I know. This is so much for Jim. <laughs> it is a lot for it's him to dense. take in. But the more he does it, the more he's kind of enjoying it. Yeah. Ooh. How many times have you almost died? Like six times? Like three or four times at least, yeah. Imagine <laughs> the adrenaline. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, do I get the impression that these... Um, no, I think I do get that impression. What I would like to do is, is use prestidigitation. Can I create like clouds of smoke around these so the Ooh. eyes can't see out? So prestidigitation could create a very minor distraction, yeah. but it wouldn't be able to create a large enough effect that to, they couldn't, yeah, to to actually obscure their vision entirely. You just don't want it. What if I wanted to create? Uh, no, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> With Owen. Uh, and the as you run away, the tentacles sort of impotently wiggle <laughs> toward <laughs> you, <laughs> but. 
They don't have okay. a reaction to spend. You're impotent. That's why I say. <laughs> <laughs> That's psychic damage. Yeah. Uh, uh, crush. Uh, yeah, pills for that. Tentacles are all limp and shit. Uh, so <laughs> what do you do once you you rush over here? Um, and you see everything that Omen saw, the the vestments, the symbols, the masks, uh, and then also these daggers with these wavy blades. Uh, I will go over here and check out the daggers with the wavy blades, if that's where they're at. Uh, they are beautiful, shining, each one on its hilt. The end of the hilt is a snake's head, and in the mouth is a ruby. Ooh. Okay. Uh, are, they, check, kind of or? are they numbered? Like, are these collector's that, items? That ruby? Can I see if they're magical in any way? Uh, go ahead and give me an Is intelligence roll. I rolled a one. Yeah. These are shiny guys. <laughs> shiny knives over here. <laughs> Jim, snake. Oh, they're sharp. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you accidentally just saw your soul to the devil? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah, With I'm just sharp, my oh, now. No, I think you have to do it over the circle. I think you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. You're probably Jim, fine. Jim, um, do you cut your finger yeah. a little bit? Huh. There's um, a one. He's mm-hmm. an idiot. Uh, it's pretty cool. Your, you, a little bit of blood drips no. onto the table, mm-hmm. and the table shakes a little bit. What the F? And the drawer that was right under Ooh. where the Chris Knives was opens, has a big mouth, and it says, delicious. Uh, hey, enjoy that. Um, <laughs> there's no more where that came from. <laughs> no, dry. <laughs> yep. And then it it starts chomping. Gosh. <clears throat> Uh, not but, in the mix. No, but, please, not but, in the mix. Before we get to what the table is doing, <laughs> yeah, uh, Bobby, <laughs> what do you fold. do? Oh, Can you I? need so you snap out of it. Oh, I do. Perfect. Uh, however, you are close enough to still hear it, so you have to make the saving throw again. Do Just you, a gibber. Can that before I hear it? Can I clamor for a piece of gum from certainty, or is it? No, okay. it's sort of like right as it wears off. The split second you start hearing it again. Okay. Mm-hmm. What a nightmare. Eight. Uh, what, what, what's a, what throws it? Constitution? Wisdom. 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 Eight. <laughs> All right, Bobby. Uh, you you hear uh, one of them says, I am, I am the Gouda. Nope. Uh, like the Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Gouda. <laughs> uh, uh, and the other one says, I am wipes. Wipes? Um, <laughs> wipes? I need you wipes. to wipes. I, I need you to roll a D8. Is there a code here that I'm yeah. not picking yeah. up on? Yeah, I don't know about Is this. Is this just random things Jeremy uh, has like I, I don't know. this morning? Four. Four. All right. You get uh, the Gouda wipes. You spend your turn doing nothing. Uh, you are as your mind swirls, <laughs> imagining wet wipes made out of Gouda cheese <laughs> and how you could like plaster them on your face. Anyway, how you really could anyway eat, you how you could eat them like fruit roll-ups. So I'm thinking about making a face mask. I've cut out the eyes and the yeah. mouth and I'm just laying no, it on you're, my you're face. You're in a mind spa. I'm having a great time. Uh, Honestly, I think I, Jasmine, the player now, certain she doesn't know what these things are, I think, but that's probably one of the better I would, I would imagine. <laughs> I've, I've, you doing nothing is actually. I only TPK'd one time, and it was with Gibbering Mouthers, I and just, I felt really bad about it. I, really, I, he, I don't think he'd feel bad. I really yeah. want to ask. <laughs> it's like episode nine or ten. He's like, "No, you guys all died in the end." I want to ask for a piece of gum so bad. So, uh, you are now all of you, Evelyn. You're actually right here, too far away for the pillars to reach you with their tentacles. Yes. Yeah. With their tentacular. Yeah, we just need we need to get out. Um, and so you can see that each of them now, on their turn, the tentacles uh, reach out toward the floor. No, they don't. And they both tug simultaneously, and it's like they're pulling up a like a wire that was in this seam between the stones between them, but it's not a wire, it's a tentacle. 
Uh, and as they pull it up, there is this splorching noise as bursting up out of the stone, right where you were previously standing, there is this mass of flesh and mouths mm. of eyes uh, that begins to form. Uh, and it looks like the exact same mouths and eyes and everything oh, yeah. on it's the pillars, mm -hmm. uh, but it is now starting to form here. And that's all it does on its turn. We, we just we can't to be here, that, right? Yeah. We need to get out. We really, we really we just can't need be to get here. out. Yeah. Right? We can't fucking Has, fight these things. Oh, nobody's like investigated the door yet. No. Uh, we, they, we can't, I can't reach it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try to reach it. Uh, oh, go. The table. It's its turn. Oh, Tables great. Tables get turns. Tables get turns sometimes. The tables have turns. The, yeah. ta oh. the table oh. says to you, are you here for summoning? Yep. <laughs> you're just look, you're just I'm looking over at you and you're just looking down at the table uh -huh. talking to a mouth give me 3 drops and you may take one of the knives and it puts out its tongue and its tongue uh is like a foot and a half long mm. oh wow this is like uh, a pokemon type yeah of thing. yeah i'll I'll, I'll I'll give, give it one, one yeah. yeah two three <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm making the sound effects. It's like That's nasty. Over here. Yeah. What are you We're doing? To do I'm, I'm summoning something. Why? It's the death told me that it needed my blood. That's, uh, listen to yourself. <laughs> now you may take one knife. Uh, yeah, I mean, they all look the same, right? Mm -hmm. I snatch up a knife. All right, you now have one of these gleaming Chris knives, again, with the snake and the ruby. Uh, on it, right? I mean, but what's he gonna do if you take it without giving the blood? Really, though. Mm, good question. It's well, a table. Bite you. He's gonna bite your ass. It's a table. You gotta close the yeah. <laughs> close the yeah exactly. The thing and take a knife. He's like ha, ha, ha. just yeah. Even Evelyn. <laughs> yeah. You hear the whispering. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Um, Eighteen plus three is twenty-one. That's you, big. You resist it. La 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 la. <laughs> You don't listen? <laughs> okay. No. You, 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 I right. think doors are very cool. <coughs> and we have to we have to get the fuck out of here. Or we gotta kill this thing. I mean, however we want to do it, but to uh, get out. We don't we, we, Is right, it my I turn? It about. is your turn. Um can I assume correctly that you have kind of shouted back like it's a vest vestiary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I say I say it's just robes. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a bunch of robes. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna give you the robes. Grab me a mask because I gave mine to that guy. It's easy. Um, I'm gonna go to the door. I'm gonna see if I can open it. There is no handle, uh, and but right in the center where there is the snake eye, there is a large uh, <laughs> vertical slit. vertical slit. Did you say there was a knife? That was my nickname in high school. Looks like a key. <laughs> vertical <laughs> slit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's true. That's what everybody called me. Jim, grab a let's, couple of knives. Let's never talk about that again. <laughs> we, yeah, can we move Bird on? Slice? I, yeah. No, no. They called you little slitty bird. Not on both <laughs> ends. I can't do it on both sides. You didn't hear about little slitty bird? Not both sides. No. Slitty bird? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. the slice. He spit under that name. Oh. Little slitty bird. I freaked out no. when he got a mustache. No, no, no. 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 I'm more concerned about what's going in it. So. Yeah. yeah. Jim, you said there's knives. I think this is a knife hole. <laughs> I got a knife for your hole. Great. Bring it. Maybe bring a couple. No, just the one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have there. To, it's gonna have to be one that's expensive. expensive in a way. Um I guess since I haven't done an action and I don't think I can open this without that, I'm just gonna like Okay, give myself lay on hands. Um, and yeah, give get, myself get tuned up. Trying Jeez. to give myself ten hit points. Ooh, yeah, no, you. Everyone, you all see Evelyn immediately looks freshened up. Like the yeah, her, exactly. And it's like it is that like is real bucks. magic. Just two slaps on the your own cheeks and bam. Just a little rosy, like yeah, you're mm -hmm. ready. Yeah. Certainty. You are close enough to hear it. Yes, I have to roll. Evelyn, you are now far enough away. 18. 
You resist it. Do you okay. listen? Oh, the temptation. Do. Mm. Uh, one of them said, says, this one Certainly, Certainly drama, drama was a tasty, tasty barbecue. barbecue. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, that's fucked up. This is like These some Pennywise the Clown yeah. type of... The middle one now gets in on the whisper. All of them are... Uh-huh. Oh, you need to shut it. <laughs> uh, the, middle, the middle one says... Oh, man, drama, soul is like, like popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> I kind of wish I'd listen now. (laughs) And then the final one whispers, soon Soon we'll be be out 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 and and gobble up up everything. everything. And as it says that, you can see that another one of these is starting to form on the ground. We need to go. We we just just have to go. 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 And they don't have the dagger, right? (laughs) They don't have any blood either. Mm -mm. So they can't go to the desk mouth. You've really made some weird shit here, but they can't get the desk mouth store. They can't go to the mm-hmm. knife store. What, is he okay? <laughs> I know he's from what a is... stroke. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get it. They can't. We took a long rest so my unseen servant isn't up. Otherwise, all of us could have been solved. I could have sent my unseen servant to go get the knife. Exactly, back. get some work done. Can't do that. Um, so instead, I'm gonna take, this is so gross, but I don't know what else to do. I still have some gum left. Yes. I'm going to take oh, a purple yes. piece, which is the best flavor, yes. and I'm going to chew it up in my mouth, take it apart, and I'm going to put it in your ears oh. so you can't oh. hear. Okay. It's Their disgusting, voices. but I take I take it and I jam it in both ears, and it's like gummy, and it just like really goes in there. It's like a third one, one, one? No, no. What about in here? It's yeah. like a wet willy. I got it. Like, okay. cause I, kn- I know how these things work. Either the magical properties will help, or you being deafened will help. Okay. So it's going to be a little bit of both. Yes. Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, go ahead and roll percentile dice. Ooh, oh, yes, my favorite. He's back on it. He's back on it. I'll roll some too. Let's go. Great. 74. 74. Uh, Bobby, you not only suddenly can't hear the gibbering, uh, but with that roll, you now have inspiration. <gasps> yes. Ooh. Hell yeah. Get it logged in. Yeah, just hit it. Psh. I know what to do. Okay. Do it. Does that count as my action? Yes. Don't you? Okay, for my... Would you, would you like to game? move closer to the door? I would like to move closer to the door. Unless, you, unless you'd like to hear more of their sweet No, 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 no. I would like to move <laughs> closer to the door, Those please. sound like sweet somethings to me. <laughs> yeah, those are things. Unsweet. Um, Sour that, thing is, <laughs> that thing is going to be able to move. I don't think I have a bonus action spell that can push it back or slow it. We have to. We need we we here. do need to leave. Um, can I? I don't know if this would work. Can I? Can I try to pick the lock with my quill? You can try. <laughs> okay, I'm Never gonna know. try to Make pick the lock. Uh, so go ahead and uh, give me a dexterity sleight of hand check. Big numbers. That's an 18 on the die plus two, dirty 20. Mm. Filthy. Still not good enough. Filthy 20. Mm. It was almost impossible for him yeah. to do it. Yeah. Right? I'm like, yeah, de- definitely need the knife. Definitely need the knife. And that's my turn. Omen. Here. There so, is that. Yeah, yeah. So, drip, I mean, I think drip, that I can. Drip. So precious. Um, I, I was going to. Just like get, take a knee, like get down, look at this. Is it just like trickling from the ceiling? No, it is, uh, which is why Jim doesn't see it. It's, dr- you see dripping down on the ground, but it's not up at the ceiling. So really? I think it must be from behind oh. the cloak in front of you. Mm-hmm. So it sounds like maybe they didn't use a licensed and bonded contractor. Yeah, mm. obviously this is an issue. And it's going to be in the studs now. It's probably mm. mold in there. Black no out. question. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I get I get my I mean I get my putty knife out. And, um, no. Um, 
So it, it's, it's dripping from behind the wall, but it no, has... it's dripping from behind the cloak. You don't actually. Oh, just see... behind the cloak. Yeah. Oh, here, here. I'll just. I mean, I'll. It, it's the work of a moment to merely brush the cloak away. So when you brush the cloak away, you you realize that there is actually some uh, pressure on the on oh, the cloak. Oh, I see. As, this is a secret thing. As you push away the. You cause something opens. You cause the slowly uh, dissolving body that was behind <gasps> there to fall forward onto you, <laughs> uh, and Jim. you and you see that there is sort of like a human skeleton, but all of its skin and organs have been replaced by a gooey substance reminiscent of the lake. Uh, and it just uh, squishes, out. and Jim, you suddenly see it looks like this um, yeah. this slimy, <laughs> transparent corpse you falls know that forward guy? onto Omen. Now. And Omen, I need you to make a constitution saving throw as this ick gets all over you. Going back in. Okay, I'm going to use inspiration. I don't, I can't deal with this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't deal with this. I, that's Who fair. Can, really. D D twenty plus. You're getting one. goo bombed, right? Goo goo groped. Two plus one. That's obviously no. Well, filth. well this that's is why we <laughs> use inspiration. Yeah. Now, right? Yeah. yeah. How bad? What else don't you see you? when you come back? It can be quite bad. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> if you were wondering, mm-hmm. no, not worse. Okay. That would be difficult. <laughs> yeah. Um, but still you, bad. Tell me a five. Is a, a teen? zesty five teen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Isn't that one of them? Oh no, it's not. boy! Yeah, thanks. So, so you you notice two things simultaneously as it topples right into your face. You see that its feet are wedged into a crack in the wall, where. There is actually another one of these strange corpses protruding is out. Stuffed in there, and and there is some like large amount of f- this goop swirling behind these transparent corpses, and then some of it gets in your mouth as it in s- your mouth as it splashes into you. Uh, go ahead and roll percentile dice. Absolutely, you got goop. This sucks. You got it on your glasses and your hair. Michael! <laughs> I can cut that. <laughs> 40, I assume that sucks shit. So, uh, <laughs> two things happen. Uh, as, as it gets, and you also smell it, it has oh. this... <laughs> That's it. it has this sort of moldy smell, yeah. Yeah. Mm. but it also smells like blood. Mm. Uh, and yeah, this is the old D&D. You, oh yeah. Right. Uh, uh, you take, as, as it splashes into <laughs> your face, seven acid damage. Wait, you thought you were going to go out on like a little trip with your other pretend family? That was the, that was the <laughs> fantasy, yeah. No, <laughs> acid. No, going on a trip with death. Uh, and then, Jim, you see Omen Flicker for a moment. Never mind. I and, recognize this, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and Omen, you are now sitting in the gutter. And oh wow, went to the bad place. Oh wow, no, I, you didn't go I to the good the place. place. You went yeah. to the bad place. You're sitting in the gutter, and for a moment you think you're in water deep. Yeah, absolutely. And, but then you realize, no, that the sky's wrong, the buildings I are in the know. wrong place. Yeah, I'm familiar with this city. But you do recognize from your visit to Vi's old workshop, you think this is the city of Greyhawk. Okay. And you're There's in- Some cobble, some ruined street somewhere right at the edge. And you see this temple across the street from you, really run down part of town. It's night, 
cloudy evening. The moon is, is shimmering behind the clouds. And there are some people going inside to the temple. It looks like maybe for late night prayers. And as people file in and you can hear this really hauntingly beautiful chant begin inside, uh, it's very peaceful. There's a smell of incense yes. wafting yeah, out. Um, you see several figures creeping in the dark, wearing these long red robes, uh, yeah. quickly slam the door shut, this is the fire. bar it, and then hurl flasks that you think must be alchemist yes. fire through the windows. Uh, and they immediately then run away, and you hear them say only one thing as they run away. His daughter's certainty's in there. I mean, can I move and yes. act? I run across the street. Uh, you can already hear screaming oh, absolutely. inside. absolutely. This is why I have to stop it. Do I have any of my... Do I have any of my divine powers? So you you look down at yourself and you're I don't in, recognize you're it. in rags, you're not wearing your armor. Uh, you have a club uh, and yeah. that's it. Well, I mean, I can hopefully use the end of this club maybe to, to get this door unbarred and get the place open. Go ahead and give me a strength check. Absolutely with advantage if you use the club to, uh, so for to leverage. lever it, right? Yep. Uh, okay, so looking for a plus two on 18, which is a disgusting 20. Ew. You... <laughs> that's, that's as good as I can do. All right, that disgusting 20 uh, gets the door open, uh, and I start I start screaming out for a okay, certainty. So you look inside, uh, and this fire must not have been regular alchemist fire because something you, else. you can see that after it exploded as regular fire, it is now transformed into Elementals. green flames. Green flames! Green flames! That's, that's hard to celebrate right now. <laughs> no, and, I know, and, I know, I know. And, I know. and the green, <laughs> the green <laughs> flames. This is something else. We needed a moment of levity though. Yeah, thank, you, thank you. Are, are forming into these serpents made out of fire, and they are coursing through the congregants. You see people ducking for cover, and you can see uh, a younger version of Certainty who is on the far side of the temple, and Certainty is has her cloak up and is trying to shield some of the grandmothers who are gathered up near the altar, along with uh, the priestess who is leading the prayers. This is a good girl. And mm -hmm. and you see the fire coming up upon certainty as she is trying to shield them so they can get out the other side of the temple. I'm gonna, I am basically going to run through this and do her job so that she can join the people she was trying to save. Uh, go ahead and give me a dexterity saving throw as you mm. as you run through <laughs> the fiery yes. center of the temple. Absolutely. We're doing good, everybody. Yeah. It's a 12. <laughs> uh, so that is actually exactly what you needed. Yeah, in so this, yeah. You you are still going to take a little bit. Of course. Uh, so you take two fire damage. Okay. Uh, go ahead and mark it on your actual character. Oh no, I, as soon as I pull this up, I'm like, he's gonna make me mark it on my real sheet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and certainty, mm -hmm. the other certainty. Mm -hmm. you, you hear some crashing behind you and you look as you're doing everything in your power to shield these grandmothers and the priestess so they can get out, uh, you see that there's this crash among some of the seats that were there. Most people in a Temple of Bacob stand, but they there are chairs put out for those mm -hmm. who 
can't stand for very long. And you see busting through the chairs, a man who looks like your father whom you haven't seen in years. Uh, and he is rushing toward you. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do? This is you as the other certainty. Mm. Young. Yeah, baby certainty. Baby certainty. Oh, I think I know. I think she says, Dad, and gives some bardic inspiration. And <laughs> 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 just looks well, yeah, like, I mean, it it like just happened. confused. Like, I haven't seen him in years. Yeah, it's no, no, years. it's definitely like, no, I mean, my, my, my Dad? Guess, my guess, this is my, my fan theory, is that in this, yeah. in this Greyhawk, Portentia probably took you. Yeah, mm. yeah. That would. And I let it happen. That would make sense. Right? Yeah, because I don't see another reality in which Omen doesn't raise his kid. No. Yeah. Uh, and you receive that bardic inspiration. Nice. Perfect. Uh, and so you reach her and you have a split second uh, moment as the fire serpents are weaving toward the altar. Will you dive in front of them? Because if you don't, they are about to hit certain. Oh no, there's no question. That's the whole, re yeah, that's the whole reason I'm here. Then certainty, you see your dad Mm -hmm. hurl himself in front of these serpents of green flame. Green flame. And that clearly were coming for you and they incinerate him. And all that is left is his cloak that falls to the ground. But this buys you the critical seconds to rush out of the temple, saving your own life, as well as the grandmother's and the priestess. I think if I may, I think she takes the cloak. Oh, she has to, mm. yeah. And so you have this cloak now, singed, but mostly intact. Yeah, I think, like this is all she knows of her dad. Right. Yeah, it's a pre I mean, listen, if you gotta go out, yeah. I'm just saying that this is like, this This burnt cloak is like all, and I think like that would fill her. <sighs> but this place is fucked up. Yeah. Right, because yeah. we've already, earlier in this game, we already saw Omen get away from there, and this was after it had already been burned down. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think any, there's no linearity at all to this mm -mm. place. Yeah. Because certainty had already died in the fire. Mm. Yeah. There's, there's no linearity no. here at all. No. Um. We just have to be the best people we can at absolutely every moment. Yeah, geez. And hope that that's the last version of the story. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think she she takes the burnt cloak, and um, she just says thank you. Yeah. And she ushers the old women out of the temple. And Omen, you then snap out of it. Uh, the the this. Horrific corpse now thuds to the ground, splattering that moisture all over. Jim, you see this. Uh, Omen stops flickering. Yep. You have bardic inspiration from what you from a, saw. From a memory. Um, and certainty, you, uh, next to the door, you realize you're holding a cloak. What's the black fuck? Mirror shit? What the fuck? I'm just like it. Just I. I just re like it's like I was holding it the whole time, and I just noticed it. And Oof. and it it actually there, its hem is still smoldering. Uh, you can smell smoke on it, but you can also smell your dad on it, because you know yes. you know you know you, how your parents smell. This possibility is out. Okay, yeah, we have to get out of here right away. Impossible. For, for a couple yeah. reasons. One, there's gonna be a lot of crying otherwise. Yeah. And two, uh, we will definitely be murdered by this slime. Yeah. We have to get the F out. I think she like kind of swirls it on and then pulls the hood up and tries to like cover her ears. Just instinctively, because she, she smells it. It's her dad's cloak, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, you, she doesn't yeah. know how and she doesn't know why, but she just like you know puts it, it you on. You know whose it is. Yeah. 
So when you put it on, you immediately feel safer. And it is a cloak of protection. Dude, that's dope. See, no, you can't do it. You God can't put it, it in I the- I wasn't gonna cry. I wasn't you can't put it in the, you can't put it in the thing. And so, <sighs> so I am like getting up like on my hands and knees like slowly because in addition to everything else that just happened, that's only 10 feet of my movement. <laughs> um, what a turn. Right? Um, I'm gonna Stress. come out here and basically try to get over to the door, but I am singing as loud as I can. What are you saying? Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. um, no, I'm just. I know how it is, but if I tried to do it, it wouldn't work. It's just. It's a. It's a lullaby. Is it fast car? No. Ooh. Um, do you think maybe it should be fast car? I'm not gonna do that. Fast car is such a banger. <laughs> it, incredible. It's incredibly hot. Even even covers of it are mm-hmm. good. Um, so I'm just. I'm just basically just trying to drown this out because I know it's gonna happen again. Um, let's see, that's 10. I should be able to get out to about here. Go ahead and make a charisma performance check as you sing. Oh, that's a really oh. cool way to handle that mechanically. Mm-hmm. Um, D20 plus three. Um, that's seven. And then I'm gonna use my bardic inspiration, which I feel like is appropriate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One. <laughs> Okay, so it's eight. But I mean, it's it's very dad play. Um, yeah. So Does it, anyone it's, it's, want to give Omen inspiration? It's not very loud. Well, he, he has a, he has I use a my bardic, bardic inspiration. I use my bardic, and I use. This I don't over have here. another. Th- I don't have the type that the, the DM juice. gives you that yeah, you yeah, can yeah. give to people. Bobby does. I, Bobby does. Yeah. Oh yeah. You do. Yeah. From the bubble. Let's go. You yeah. could dish it. Boom. Here, so just re-roll. I see him coming out of the out of the room. I'm like, let's go. That's, I mean, it's a little bit better. Now it's 12. Uh, it's okay. It, it is matching the, the, add the, the add gibbering. The... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, 13. Yeah. Uh, it is matching the, the sound of the gibbering. So you haven't, you haven't uh, managed to drown it out, but no. you've managed to sort of accompany it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and like, sort of like destabilize. I hope that they effect. think this is weird. It's That's a what mashup. I want. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. DJ Lobster Dust. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, going back to certainty, um, when you put it on, in addition to feeling that protective quality, uh, you immediately receive the effects of the cloak. Normally, a cloak of protection requires attunement. Tune. Mm-hmm. You are instantly attuned to it. Mm. That's pretty funny. Because the old certainty was, or yeah. a different. Mm. I don't They're know what's up. real anymore, exactly. Jerry. We just have to get this room. We'll, we'll, let's, let's have this conversation. This is the season of Loki we didn't want. This is variant shit. Exactly. This is, this is season six. <sighs> Could be hereditary attunement. Oh, but, but also, what I'm saying is it's like that some Assassin's Creed shit. Let's, let's get out of this room and have this conversation. Yes, let's. Okay. In this hellish I can't abattoir. open the door. I tried to open it. It can't <laughs> oh, no. open Jim, it. Jim has the key. Jim, Jim has the key. Is my turn again? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'll run. I'll bolt from that room uh, and try to get to the door. You're able to get there. Okay. Uh, I stick my Chris into the vertical slit. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, that is what you did. Yeah, that's what I did. Uh, I guess and, that, don't make it weird. Just, and, and there <laughs> is a click noise as if this is. as as if this blade was the key to this door. Okay. Uh, do I, can I push on it? Does it? Sing? Yeah. Oh, okay. I push, and the door opens, and you are all able to rush in, mm-hmm. assuming I, no one wants to stay uh, with the no. columns. No, I so badly want to go get more knives and the cloaks here. and stuff. I feel like it's all things that we've experienced on the previous levels that have saved us, and we're going to need each of them to make it easier. When well, we get it in has there. a bunch of cloaks. Well, I, I yeah. grabbed a bunch. Some. I, I, I have the, a grip of the chains. I got the, the. I got the shit. I have the accoutrement. We only have one knife. Oh, but the knife already opened that door. We're good. And and so then you rush through, and as you do, that door then closes oh, thank you. on Omen. You. Yeah, crushing him <laughs> utterly. <laughs> He's turned a pace. It closes and that is the Omen, end of Omen. And he is destroyed. <laughs> All Omen drawn. All <laughs> Omen drawn in every timeline destroyed. Crushed by a yeah. door. Gotcha. Yeah, it happens, but like one at a time. Yeah. Like, and as soon as this thick door closes, 
you no longer hear the strange gibberish back here. Yeah. Do you still hear the uh, electric guitar though? Mm. Someone plucking away on that? You do. Okay. Uh, and it's coming from the other side of this door. Uh, okay. I I motion to ears. I still can't hear at the gum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I pop the yeah. gum out of my ears and put them together and toss it on my mouth. Oh. <laughs> of course he does. He doesn't give a shit. If there's more gum, maybe we should all be chewing some because now seems like the time. Yeah, to this be is the time for gum. Yeah, and nice. Let's see how many pieces I have left. Just start that gum. Matter of fact, let me get a new piece. <laughs> a new <laughs> piece. No it's got a new piece. That's one. It tastes kind of funny. Okay. Well, yeah, it's a different flavor. So, for sure. a little stale. Oh, man, I only have one of the blue left. I love oh, it. Okay. I, I can't stress this enough. Certainty has like a diagram. For how many gumballs I she do. has of each unique color. I think that's the, wow. important. the purple's the best flavor. So I give one purple to Jim and I give one purple to me. Thanks. This is the best flavors, Aquarian and Chris Perkins. Yes. Yeah. I'll take I'll take the pink. Okay, I blue. give you a pink, I give Evelyn a pink, and I a single tear comes down my eye as I give you my last blue gum ball. But I can't, I uh, so here's the second thing I can't stress enough. We had exactly the right amount of gum yeah. left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Down and to as, the last ball. And as I distribute them, I'm like, I don't know what the return's gonna be on <laughs> marbles made of gem versus gum ball certainty. <laughs> I, just, I put it in your hand forcefully. <laughs> I pop it in my mouth. I'm chewing my gum. I pop roll it in percentile my mouth. Roll percentile dice. Anyone who eats gum, roll yep. percentile dice. I'm like, gum I, I unite. smell like burning flesh and sadness, and I'm sitting here eating my gum. It's the only thing that's going to make me feel 48. good. 48. 48. You take 4d8 damage. 48. <laughs> no, I take a 75. 74. Hey, yo. 15. 17. And certainty again? I'm at 74. 74. Oh, 74. Mm -hmm. okay. 75. It's perfect. Um, so, in these circumstances, everyone who got 50 or higher, you have you immediately feel a sense of of calm, and you gain the benefits of a short rest. Ooh. What the deuce? And uh, that means that you can spend hit dice to heal exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you have anything else that refreshes on a short rest, it would refresh now. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So who was that who rolled 50% or higher? Me. Those three. Those three. Mm -hmm. And the two of you, what did you roll? No, I rolled lower. Oh, yeah, you I was pointing at them. Oh, got it. 48. 48? Ooh, 17. 17? 15. 15. Okay. So the 48, um, you do not get to gain any hit points back but you gain any other benefits from a short rest. Oh, like spells. Oh, okay. So, like arcane recovery right, right. or so anything up to two levels else. of spells. I can't even use any spells. Okay. Just, I just feel extra special. Yeah. Good. You just feel all right. And then the two of you, you both get inspiration. <gasps> I'll Ooh, I'll, I'll take it. it. It's the only thing I don't have. Inspiration is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got one spell slot back. It's not bad. Um, no. Can I then look to Omen? And say, I will gladly take one of those clean fits off your hands. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I begin immediately distributing. So we're ready to we're ready to be extras in whatever demonic production is occurring here. I still refuse to put on a, a so the symbol? sigil, though. <laughs> but you got two of the other ones. I mean, there's no room. Do I? Yeah. Did I take the Chris knife out? Yes. Okay. So I you still, still have it. it with you. Okay. And uh, you see what is in uh, the model in front of you. You see this uh, I mean, this grotesque. square area with a, a circle on it, uh, these serpentine uh, statues. There are more of these snakes uh, carved of snakes. Into, the, into the walls. Uh, and then there is this door. Uh, so snaky. And this door has uh, infernal writing on it. Can anyone read infernal? I'm fluent. <laughs> I, I, I Are you actually? actually? Yes. Hell yeah. Good school. I speak uh. common, elvish, celestial, and infernal. Uh, so this is incredible. An incredible young woman. So certainty, you see uh, that it it says only the fiend may enter. Oh. I turn around. I say, 
Are any of you fiends? If you are, you have to tell me. I'm a fiend in the sack. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. High five between Nick yeah, and one, right? <laughs> Woo. Hey. No, that's not it. I need you to focus. Okay. Yeah. Can I look at this? Is Are these doors that open or something? This to, uh, to the, the two wizards, this looks like a summoning circle. Oh. oh. <clears throat> so, so. Come on, Sam. summon something? Come on. We need to summon a fiend. The door will open for the fiend, and then we just sneak in behind him. Like Easy plus peasy. ones or plus yeah, fives. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's a fiend club. That's what we got to do. We don't Can have I make a religion anymore, check on the, the, the kids' blocks? Yeah. Can we call Kamada? I liked him. Yeah, I yeah. mean Kamada is pretty cool. He's got a trident. He'll and help us. Yeah. yeah, you can go ahead and make a. I'm curious if I know the ritual that I would need to do. Uh, and you, you in certainty both see also that there is arcane writing <gasps> around, and you really? can even see it in the in the model on the edges. Arcana check. Well, an eleven plus three oh, for religion. Four. Is fourteen, but, but there's also literal oh, arcane writing on it. Yes. Okay. I got uh, a thirteen on Arcana. I'll let you look at the script yeah. while I'm trying to figure out the ritual. So the two of you together are able to piece uh, several critical pieces of information. Uh, Jim, looking at the symbols that are worked into the carving between the arcane letters, you can see that it is uh, the symbols of the nine. So. You see, and repeat it. You see, like there is the symbol of Avernus, the top layer of hell. Then the next layer. Then okay. the next layer. Then the next layer. And so it, this is clearly an infernal summoning circle, as opposed to say an abyssal uh, okay. summoning circle. And then certainty, you're able to piece out that it is a fairly simple summoning, yeah. where uh, a person. Read it, you're reading the, it's basically like instructions. Okay. And it says uh, to that the summoner must simply drop three drops of their own blood in the center of the circle, and oh, one of the here. servants yeah. of the nine will appear. I don't want to like announce this to everyone, because so I like nudge Jim a little bit, and I'm like, kind of explain the, my, my half of the puzzle to him, and I'm like, I want, I don't want my dad to be weirded out, but like, my boyfriend is into some warlock shit, but he doesn't know that I have a boyfriend yet, so. I get it, yeah. So just, if it's some infernal stuff, you just want to tell everybody. I can act like I don't really know anything that's going on. I say we just keep this shit between you and I. Okay. Take care of this right here. Right, what do you mean? Just, I'm, just, okay, you do it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm legitimately like over oh, near them. Like, you can like, hear it, it's like, uh. Oh, I do. Like, you already got a hole, so just. So I, a couple more, and then I'm like, I just I need an orange slice or something because I'm <laughs> getting woozy. A little yeah. woozy. Through my eavesdropping, I heard them. I'm like, I got I got rations. Okay, <laughs> a little something, a little snackies. Yeah. Give me the bar. Orange slice. Yeah. Jim bleeds some drops, and then he just sits down on the stairs there. <sighs> now, do you just squeeze the blood out of your finger that was yeah? I already cut? had it cut, so I just do three more drops. Boop boop. Boop. And, and you did cut it on one of the, With the Chris knife, knife. Yes. on one of the ritual knives. Professional. Uh, and so as you do that, and the rest of you see Jim up there just. Hey, like, what is he doing? And, and wow. I'm looking over. I'm looking over at Evan, and I'm like, I guess we're just, I guess we're just summoning devils. I since, <laughs> since I see him up on like a stage. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> 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 up with elevated bubbles. And <laughs> as you start clapping, Bobby. Uh, all of these serpents suddenly illuminate, their eyes light up, uh, brimstone starts pouring out of their mouths, Ooh. and the circle lights up, and it starts to tremble beneath your feet. Oh, I... I take, a, I take a step back. <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> and, and so, uh, Jim, as the summoner, I would like you to roll 3d6. Yes, that is or six, 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 six. To determine what okay. shows up. Number, you uh, got then, this. Uh, then I will no. consult the table. Here we go. All right, Here we go. 3d6, number the go. beast. We got four, one, three, and one. So seven, eight. Eight. Uh, there is a, uh, a rumbling uh, and then a, it's like 
air explodes uh, outward as something that wasn't there suddenly appears, and so it displaces yeah. mm -hmm. all of the air that was there. But it's invisible? Uh, and then it becomes visible. Uh, there is a, a burst of fire, and then standing where the fire was, there is a spined devil. Uh, it has wings, spines all over uh, its back. That tracks. Uh, and it it growls and it looks around all at all of you malevolently uh, and then it turns directly to you hey be cool <laughs> with your Chris you yeah listen. and uh, a water bottle and you hear <laughs> you hear in your mind mm -hmm. a voice as it looks at you uh, and it says, why have you summoned me? Uh, we need you to open this door <laughs> right behind me. I'm and so then we can't open. let all of us go through with you. Uh, Jim, you need to make an intelligence arcana check to see if you can control it. Oh, this is killer, actually. But this since he great. has, wonderful DM, since he has protection from fiends, <laughs> Does, would he get any advantage? Yes, I will give you advantage. Nice, okay. nice. nice. That's legit. Well, the first one is an 18. Nice. So that's pretty good. You don't even and need And the second it. one's a three. So let's go with the 18. Yeah. Is that 18 plus five? Plus. Oh! Dude, you have this thing on a, you have this thing on a leash. Yeah. yeah. You could dog it's walk well this trained. thing. It yeah. is. Squirt, squirt! <laughs> wow, this could have gone very differently. <laughs> But it uh, didn't. It didn't. There, there's a whole other reality where you're all yeah. fighting this. Yeah. 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 I've already been yeah. through it in there with the mouse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it it now in your mind says, I begrudgingly obey. <laughs> well, as long as you obey, I don't care if you begrudge. <laughs> <laughs> it flies over your head and goes to the door and looks at you, and again you hear in your head, this door. Yeah, that's the door. Come on, open it up. Should we all yes. mask up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right now we're masked off. Should we, should we ask yeah. him? Do we there, want to mask on? Mask is, is there anything in this room we need to take with us? What's in the next room? Any information? Have or you been just... through this door before? Never. You have to tell me. Never. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> this place stinks of mortals. Oh, you don't smell great either. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> I think it smells nice. Where? Yeah. Immortals? Where? Yes. And I'm wearing my fuck boy mask. It's like, <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah. And, I'm like yeah. and I'm like, where? I'll kill him. All right, so we're all uh, yes, adorned. Single file. And we're, and yeah, lined up right behind him. Last time I had a friendly mask. What mask did you grab me this time? Expression wise. The this one is uh, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So hungry. I want to be behind Jim. And yeah. what's yours, Omen? Your mask? Constipated. Constipated. Oh wow! So you're just bearing down. <laughs> <laughs> and yours was fuckboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like it's like a. <laughs> it's a it's bad, yeah, yeah, it's bad. It's like that emoji <laughs> with the back well, with dude, the cab. These, these greyhawk, these yeah, greyhawk like fuckboys yeah. though. If it, if it could have a hand, it would have one right here that's like, <laughs> you know, it's bad. It's horrible. It should be on the mask. Yeah, that's yeah. how important it is <laughs> to the vibe. To it, yeah. There's like little chains it hangs from. That. <laughs> so, so what do you got going on here? Uh, uh, disappointed grandfather. Oh, oh. oh. searing. Yeah, that's yeah. intense. That, that's that's, a that's lot. that is really weighty disappointment. Yes. Very. I think Jill, Jim still has the laughing one mm -hmm. that he got originally. Yeah. Why yeah. change? Why, why mess with success? Exactly. After I open it, do you have anything other, anything else? that is as trivial that you want me to do. We might. Yeah. Um, first of all, I need you to be a lot less fucking sarcastic. <laughs> and second, I'm going to need you to hang around and we're just going to play it by ear because I may still need you for something later. <laughs> I may have a can or something yeah. I need open. Yeah. You sit then... tight. Yeah, you got hands on you because you might need to <laughs> throw them. Yeah. The, the spine devil reaches its claw outward, touches the door, the door illuminates with a eerie red light, uh, and it opens into this chamber. And inside, 
you see immediately this altar, this massive statue with a gleaming crystal. What a great like piece. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's that's kinda, so cool. It's, like, it's, it's lit so but figuratively, cool. but also yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, the snake has legs and it's sitting. Yeah, it talks like, yeah. like, Weird, like the snake does yoga. <clears throat> well, snake's got a no, spine. Exactly. Yeah, no, but like off to the side, off to the side, like certainly I say. Have you already seen this? Yep. You you and also, to be clear, this is the last thing I saw. Mm. You also see uh, inside. Over here on this strange pedestal, a swirling mist that just keeps moving around, and in the heart of it, there is this glimmering golden light, and it swirls over here, and there is a bluish field of light, and you can see that the swirls occasionally this mist hits the the bluish light and is sort of uh, repelled, def- repelled Contained. off of it. Yeah. Um, okay. On the other side, there is another bluish light, what? and it is containing a mind flare. Oh. Mm. But okay. this mind flare is wearing the same sort of rain poncho that the archivist was wearing. Oh, okay. Is he trapped? And he also mm. is touching and trying to Escape. get out. And then, you'd think I would have started with this. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'd lead with this last one. Because standing right in front of you is this regal, winged, mm. devilish young man. Um, Ooh. Uh, handsome, oh, no. dashing. Oh no. And, Zesty. And as the door opens and you all gather up here, he sets down on the altar in front of him the gu- the guitar that he was <laughs> he was <laughs> strumming strumming, and he looks through the door and he he looks at you, Omen, and says, "Dad, <gasps> uh, I'm ah! performance check, right? I'm just gonna be like, yeah." Obviously. You just got the one. Certainty? I don't know. I don't, I wasn't in your, vi- I have no, no clue who this man know. is. You don't know about your, you yeah. don't know about your brother. I'm just like. And I barely know. Does he look yeah. like the, the son Yeah, does, is there any resemblance between him and me? So, he, no, he is clearly, this is a later part in his story, yeah. right? Yeah. Because there's another omen that gave up his own child. But of course, I never did that. But all of these yeah. possibilities yeah. exist at the same time. Yeah, I just want to know if there's a resemblance. But and the, what you saw when you, went in the, when you witnessed that isn't what certainty human. says. So certainty has no fucking clue. No, that there is a a brother, a hypothetical brother, and but that that brother was soul no, was no, given no, no, to no, his modius. Exactly, and I just say, just I say, follow my lead. Okay. And Omen, he looks just like Bode. Oh, I know. The eight-year-old version, I... but now all grown up. And given over yes. somehow yeah. with his dark inheritance. With wings, like wings plus, right? Yes. He's, he's doing the whole thing. <clears throat> and I, I'm going I'm to go in front. I'm going to say, you've been practicing. So he'd be like, if certainty's 19, he's like 16? He's two years older. Oh, two years yeah. older. I'm going to be like right behind my dad. Like just, just for backup and in case he needs some protection. I lean into the fiend and I go, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be yeah. resounding for yeah. you. Fuck, dude. What the does the guitar hand? look the fiend, like? The fiend Rad. says to you telepathically, Rad. so no one else hears this. What is this cambion in front of us? Yeah. Cambion. <laughs> dude, that's the oldest school fucking shit, dude. Help me I out. Can't, I can't believe I started with fucking fourth. What's a cambion? Oh, man. Well, I mean, of course Omen knows. So because this, this is his own boy. I probably say it out loud. Cambion? Yeah, yeah. I say, um, it's not common, but mortals and devils are not incapable of love. 
Nice. Okay. And then the and then <laughs> the, the devil says to you telepathically. Yeah. A cambion is when a f- is the product of a fiend producing young with a filthy mortal. Oh! <laughs> Evelyn's mouth is like hanging open. Gross, Omen. <laughs> you licked the mushroom. I just, I just, I, I just, I shrugged like, yeah. So wait, so with a fiend and a god, you doesn't matter, I guess. Why didn't you tell us you had a son? He's just bouncing around. I say, I can get it. Okay. I'm sorry. That, oh, this is very rude. Hello, I'm Evelyn Marthane. Very nice to meet you, e- Omen's son, Mister Drawn. Uh, he steps back, not sure who you are. Uh, I'm Bode. Nice to meet you, Bode, I think. I say it is nice. What brings you here, Evelyn? How do you know me? We love this lean back, you just don't said we? your name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I laughed, I laughed yeah. at his joke. Yeah, I laughed too, I laughed too. Well, I think like, this is a fiend laugh? Right. Or if he goes into like contract right. negotiation mode, why not have her dad's back? And yeah. step one is like, establish common ground. So can I like look at the guitar, maybe like, this is a nice piece, and try to like play a little chord? I am a bard. Yeah, go ahead and do a charisma performance check. He and he lets you approach it. And when oh, he Because I know. It yeah. was his dead sister. When yeah. when when you approach though, he looks at he looks at you, looks at certainty, looks at you, and then he and then he just says, How? I say obviously let's 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 let this play happened behind what I'm saying. You know, I played with it at my older brother's guitar. It's a 19 plus a five, so 24. Oh yeah, and so she's gonna. Pick so it I'm up. just shredding. She's gonna pick it up and start you play what he was playing. playing. Are you playing right. Hotel yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play what he was playing, but add my own solos in between. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah. a new bridge. Yeah, <laughs> and and when you do this, he takes a step back, and uh, he has this, you know, red skin. Yeah. yeah. But he, that red goes a little white as he steps back, yeah, and yeah. he's like, Some, <clears throat> "Somehow you're her." Yeah, I say, I say, I mean, you can't, you can't pretend not to know about these fragments of the obelisk. Of course, I know about them. Well, then you know what we know, which is that. They make impossible things possible. Yes. That's that's why I'm here. I know. There's, Dad, and I don't know how it is that you're here, or you, Certainty, but there's one right there, and he just points. And you can see... It's, in, it's burning it's, inside it's the... It's burning inside that gem. Here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... Bode, because I remember him from my vision, and I'm going to come around the this box, this this dais or whatever he has set ahead. Does he let me approach him? He's he does, but he's he's. You can tell he's cautious, like he's tense. Yeah, yeah. I say, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something, and. I want you to listen to it, and I want you to listen to all of it. We're surrounded by impossibility here. That impossibility here is so strong that it's revealed things to me. I never had a chance to meet you. But I claim you. Yeah? I claim you, boy. Uh, he, this really strong looking fiend, sort of takes a step back and then he just sobs. Oh. And he falls forward to you yeah. into your arms. Yeah. Uh, and 
and his wings even sort of like wrap yeah. around you, yeah, yeah. and he hugs you tight. I put my hand like at the back of his neck, and I bring him in. I say, they stole this from us. I don't know who they are, but we're going to find them. I just can't believe you're here. You don't have to believe it. Just feel it. Come here. And he, he just holds you for several minutes. Oh, it's just black tears. Yes. Uh, and there is, uh, as, he, as he holds you and cries, uh, this, I mean, because he, he's, he's a young enough man that he yeah. was just recently a boy. I know. There, you can see, like, the boy that he was in your other vision, oh, like, yeah. shining for sure. forward. And for a minute, or rather, just for a second, the you all could swear for a moment there was a shimmer. And rather than these bat wings, there are these white feathered wings. And he, rather than... The horns, you see golden light around him. Yeah, it's, we're right on the knife's edge of this thing. Mm-hmm. And he, he pulls back and he says, maybe you're here to do what I'm trying to do, but I can't figure out how to do it. I say, well, let me be the first to welcome you to the family business. This is exactly what we do. But, but I haven't told you yet. It Dad, doesn't matter. What, uh, it, I think I have an idea. I, I would like to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and, and, and I want to hear all about <clears throat> business and, and certainty. And then he just like chokes on your name and without saying anything, he just almost like trips forward yeah. And if you let him, yeah. he just picks you up in his arms. Yeah, I think like I you feel, know what we need I to feel do, bad. Sure. But yeah. you have never seen this guy. I know, I know. And had no that's, idea you have a brother. That's why I know. I know. I say, this is hard. I have a very good relationship with my brother. Jim is crying and holding hands with the spine <laughs> Yeah, I know. They're, <laughs> just, yeah. they're just sitting yeah. there yeah. holding moves. each other's hands and rubbing their eyes. I just can't yeah, believe. this is hard. I'm very close with my brother, but And you do hear telepathically the spine devil it is gripping its hands together, yeah. and it says to you telepathically, I don't know what I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. And I put an arm around him. <laughs> but his spine, so it's like, yeah. 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 <sighs> I put it back. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate that I'm a writer, too. Yeah. It's, you we're see in a lot of certainty here. stumble back, and then you see something that she hides a lot, which is that she's a quarter Asimar, and she can't fly, she only has one wing. But it comes launching out of the black back of her cloak, and she puts it up in front of him oh. to stop him from from grabbing her because she's doesn't know who he is and she's scared. So when he lunges at her, she just like stumbles backward, in spite of herself. And reflexively, uh, you see the composure drop, and like the one Asimar wing comes up and like oh. stops him, and then disappears. It's like almost one as hand, quickly. and then the wing. Yeah, and stops like as quickly as it disappeared. As soon as she like catches herself, and then like continues playing the guitar a little bit more somberly now. And you just see like one probably feather that's like a mark that it even happened. It happened so quickly. And he respects that. He immediately steps back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, it's my boy. And, and, he's, and he says, I, I get it. You, you haven't seen me like this. I'm a monster now. I, I don't think... I don't think you're a monster. I just... I don't like when people that I like hug me. <laughs> so this is I, I don't think I don't think you're a monster. I think if anything, our excursions into the impossibility have taught me that uh, the difference between angels and demons is a matter of opinion. And and it, it's got to be said, sisters are a huge pain in the ass. And I, I have some experience with this, and she knows perfectly well. Um, and I say, you, you have a, a pet 
Illithid over here? You have a, a Mind Flare? Uh, he, he won't cooperate. Yeah, he's, I, I say, well, it's the Archivist, right? But yes, so you, you've met him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but there's like an unlimited number of them in there. There might be one or two of them that can go along with it. But that could cooperate. Getting the, getting, the, getting the entire group together, it's like any other democracy. And I'm, I'm guessing that's the impossibility. You know about it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what's inside it? Yeah. Yeah. Does, I'd love to hear from does you. Does Dad know? Do you know what's in that? And he points at this swirling thing with the moat of golden light inside it, swirling around inside this force field. Of course he knows. Dad knows everything. You try to lie to him. He pretends to go along with it and then tells you later. But you you don't know, Evelyn. I I would just love to hear from you. It seems like you have a lot of information that could be really helpful. I I say, Bode, how would would you explain it? I found that. What's going around in this horrible place because of how I am. The awful things in this level, they let me pass as if I belonged here. But it's horrible. And, And... But I found it, and I was able to trap it there. And if you put your head into it, you'll see the most amazing thing. And the archivist told me it's impossible and it can't be allowed to happen. Of course, see, I knew this was gonna be the fucking axis of this. And, but it's everything. It would, it would unfuck our family. Everything that's happened to me and all of us is because of because that's of, where I learned the F bomb. I, I say this like in the middle of his. That's no, where no, I got no, it no, from. Dude, that'd be so crazy. I mean, boat. <laughs> Language. Oh, sorry, that's where I got. That's where I got it. <laughs> I say, I say it a lot too. It, but in there, there's, there's a version of reality where Asmodeus gives up evil. Well, that sounds fantastic. And he goes up to heaven. And. Returns say, to being an angel. No, I say think about what think about what that would mean for Strix. What would it mean? Good things. I feel like it would mean good things all around for everybody. It's. I would say it's. I would say it could be categorized as a level seven win. Yeah. The, but, but, so I keep asking him, how do we, how do we make it? How do we manifest? Manifest it. it get it out of. Get out of it. But. He won't tell me, and he kept telling me it has to be destroyed. No, he wants to eat it. Well, he said something about the blood war and the abyss winning if Asmodeus mm. isn't there, and everything would be destroyed. It's a that, balance, right? Everything has to has to happen, right? That, you have to have good. You have to have bad. That does have some. Can I religion check that? Yes. Oh yeah, that's that's going to be day one. Can I use my? Oh, I didn't say it before I rolled. Go ahead, you can do it. Okay, I'm gonna use my inspiration because I feel like Evelyn would like absolutely know about religion this. 101. Yeah. Oh yeah. yes, mm. thank you. Okay, uh, plus two, so that's 21. So you know, Evelyn, that in the multiverse, there is an eternal war between the abyss and the nine hells, lawful evil and chaotic evil. You know that chaotic evil in the abyss is just demons demons that are mindless, unbridled destruction. The devils of the nine hells that work for Asmodeus, you know that they are absolutely evil, but they are negotiators. Uh, And they actually, while they corrupt mortals, they actually want to maintain the universe in existence because if there's no multiverse, there are no souls for them to tempt. Mm -hmm. They're practical Mm -hmm. in their evil. (laughs) And so they, in their war with the two arms of evil fighting each other, ironically, it is hell that keeps the abyss at bay. And Mm -hmm. hell is led by Asmodeus. I think Evelyn kind of explains this quickly, and she's like, that's why you see me talking to demons and things. Like, do you think I would even deal with these people if if there wasn't a reason that we're all working together for some sort of greater good? And I, I, I would do anything for a redemption arc, but in this case, 
I'm with the archivist. And she kind of like shifts herself to be like, inter, inter what's that? Interposed. Yeah. Interposes herself between everyone and the, the impossibility. And I, this is like a Palantir thing for Omen. Omen goes to the other side of the room. Over here? Civil. No. Well, you start to go over here? I go to the impossibility. Mm. I go to the I other. would like to come no, out. No, no, because I'm putting myself in front of it, like, to guard it. Oh, I, I thought you were going over to the archivist. No, to oh, guard yeah. the impossibility. No, yeah, I'm going to, exactly, I'm going to go over, I'm going to go up to, like, are you, do you stand in my way Yeah, as well? I step in, I just put a, my hand on your pauldron, and I say that, um, you know she's right. I don't need all of it. I don't need all of the impossibility. There has to be a way to get part of it out and fix a little of it. Ask the archivist, set him free. He knows what he's talking about. It, it was only luck that, that I was able to even capture him. He's far more powerful than I am. <sighs> Archivist, do you want to come out? If you're, can you just? No. Uh, can, can the, ar the, you can see the Archivist uh, now turns Stressful. into Archie, the, the rosy-cheeked halfling who was begging yeah, yeah. Uh, in the, the <clears throat> prelude, and um, you can see mouthing and as, as someone who feels like they're on the outside of this, could Bobby ask a question based on the information he's yeah, got Yeah, of course, here? of course. If this whole thing could possibly crumble with Asmodeus going back home, is he, or would he not then be powerful enough being realigned with the angels to keep what at bay, what needs to be kept at bay? Maybe he could be convinced to get the angels to stop hanging back and they could fight against the abyss. The angels would have to or else they would lose everything, They would, right? The multiverse would be overrun. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go over, And yeah. Because Evelyn, you also know that the abyss, uh, unlike the other planes of existence, is infinite and has an infinite supply of demons. Uh, it, is, it is essentially the well of evil in the entire cosmos. Because again, the nine hells are actually ordered. Regimented, uh, leveled. Mm -hmm. the, the, when devils perish, they like go back into a cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, demons just pour forth endlessly from the abyss. And so the idea of Asmodeus moving into kind of the angelic host and trying to convince them to fight. Like from a history religious standpoint, I would be like, that system would crumble before we had a chance, right? As far as you know, because you, because the, the only force that has basically been armed for millennia and holding the abyss at bay constantly has been the forces of the nine hells. Do you think if the angels could defeat the abyss, we we wouldn't have done it already? Yeah. Yeah, because hell is in the way, so they feel like they don't have to, right? I don't think so. The angels don't do a lot of things, though. Like you're you're you believe in redemption, don't you? Think everybody deserves a shot at redemption? Yeah, and that's why I won't put the entire multiverse on the line for your family's curse. It's not just our family's curse. Asmodeus is evil, but yeah, and a lot of people that have made was... deals with him deserve it. Deserve what? Well, you know, no offense, <laughs> present company excluded, obviously. <laughs> None taken. But a lot True. of those people deserve what they get. But at some point, we have to begin, and you see certainty. You've seen this. Mm -hmm. I'd start to adopt the the litigator's uh, stance and walk. Oh, debate class. But let's talk about when the sentence matches the crime. He was a precious angel. That's why he's so good looking. The devils that are born from his blood are born from the wounds when he was ousted from the heavens. Now I ask you, what crime dictates that someone should have a sentence of eternity? Eternity is a very long time and even more so when you are immortal. 
At what point do we tell ourselves that, that are we going to keep Asmodeus in hell because he deserves it or because we need him there? That's the question that is on trial today. Evelyn's eyes, you see them go like a little bit dark, like a little mm -hmm. dull. And she's kind of looking at certainty super intensely. And she's like, do you really think that you know best in the entire universe, enough that you can be certain and put the lives of everybody in the entire multiverse on the line because you know the answer best? I'm not saying I know the answer, I'm saying it's a discussion. You yourself just admitted that we need Asmodeus in a spot, not that he deserved to be there. So I ask you, is this not a curse? Why is does Asmodeus need to sit on the throne of the Nine Hells? Why couldn't it be someone else? Why he, can it be a rotating no. position? You've you been messing do it? with time too well, much. <laughs> you know? Honestly, look, you look, sound weird, yeah. I think this is a great point. Does certainty want to sit on the throne? No, I'm just saying it's worth having a conversation about. Not all of us just blindly accept everything on I'm, I'm not saying that's a bad idea. <laughs> if you want to redeem Asmodeus and you want to sit in his stead. Well, maybe I will. Then one of us can get something done for a change. Great. I think wow. this is a good plan. <laughs> I think it's amazing. If that happen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to the archivist and uh, kneel down so we can sort of like dimly understand their speech, mm -hmm. right? And who, who, is, who is the face now? Archie, the halfling. Oh. I, I, I get down to Archie's level and I say something interesting, Archie. Timora often appears to mortals as a rosy-cheeked halfling. It's just something I thought was interesting. Archie winks at you. <laughs> it's been a while. And, and, and just smiles, and the, and the cheeks get rosier. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Cause I could uh, yeah, see yeah. my god girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, what is the position of the upper planes on this? Speak for them. Speak for the mountain. Nice. And you're kneeling down? Yeah, I yeah. am. Uh, then... Archie stands, sort of... Stretches out a little bit. Stretches, and then just flicks the force field the and shield? it vanishes. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, fuck. Uh, and without turning around, there is just suddenly Archie is a field of stars. And I need all of you to make a wisdom saving throw as you look into it. Oh my god. I rolled as bad as you can roll. Did you? Okay, yeah, I'm almost there. Yeah, it's bad. Oh, not bad. I rolled a two, so I get a five. I rolled a one, so I get a one. I have two. Uh, 13 plus four is 17. 14 on the dice plus three is 17. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. No. Two, two plus zero. Here, you oh, guys, right. you yeah. guys beat this god. All right. So only the wizards <laughs> yeah, resist this. But it's kind of hot. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 So uh, oh, here, Omen, please roll for Bode. You bet. Oh. Uh, he no do so good. Does, does the he need old to roll? Yeah. yeah, the spine devil also needs to roll. Uh, that, so Jim, I can do that. You spine devil would be blasted into a. You got a fifteen. Damn, Spine Devil. All right, and what did Bode get? <laughs> uh, Bode got a five on the dice, but I don't, you know, obviously I don't know his plus. I know Ooh, that if he's he, anything like me. He fails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He takes after his dad. Uh, so, uh, but the Spine Devil succeeds. So, um, <laughs> thank God. You mean, you mean the Spine Devil. Yeah. So the We're two fine. wizards and the devil, uh, they, they resist. The rest of you are just simply stunned. Uh, so you, like, you cannot do anything. Tweety birds. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is a Street Fighter thing. Mm -hmm. um, you are stunned, and Archie uh, remains halfling sized as the star field then fades away. Uh, but now, rather than the sort of rosy cheeked lad, uh, is this 
luminous halfling woman uh, with curling black hair uh, and uh, with these beautiful, deep, dark eyes. And she says to you, You've gone a wandering. Crabble. I but can't I, believe this is a real game. <laughs> but I can't help but keep an eye on you. <laughs> and really, all adventurers, I archive what they do. Adventurers of all kinds are my children. But for some reason, Omen Drawn. <laughs> You and your family have always fascinated us. And I'm stunned, like, there's no speech, right? I mean, I'm just, I'm just completely obliterated psychologically by this information, right? Yeah. I, I will give you a reprieve. I listen to your conversation. I will give you one month, for we, myself, and the others of the great heavens, we are fascinated by the one possibility you dangled in this conversation. What if you could extract a piece of that impossibility? We will not allow you to disrupt the blood war and put the entire multiverse at risk. Snaps. That's good, that's good. <laughs> but, as old as we are, and as sometimes bound by the laws of the multiverse, we are often swayed by the voice of mercy. And she's- Snap. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks at you, Certainty. I think when she looks at me, Certainty is not stunned like runs forward and goes flips all the way to the back of her wizard book and like starts tearing out the pages you're trying to get, like you're trying to get a signature? I drew pictures and I kept all the notes of everything we've done. You brown nose the fucking goddess. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. It is all wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> One month. If you could extract, perhaps, a version of him that is himself more merciful, that makes contracts that have end dates, that are not perpetual. Let's be, let's be reasonable. That allows reprieves, then we could give him a reprieve. Perhaps that version of him could sometimes, maybe once a year, visit home. Mm. Oh, this god. campaign is fucked. Oh my god. One month. Oh, oh no. I want to know one month is what? One month to figure out. I can read your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at you. <laughs> I, I put my head on the ground. And the stun now has worn off on yeah. all of you who are stunned. <laughs> uh, one month. Gather the last piece of the obelisk. They cannot be allowed to stay here. Take them away from this place so that the far realm cannot destroy this world and then cause a chain reaction that will destroy others. Doing that, you already have done a great good. Mm. While you have the obelisk and its power of impossibility, you have friends who know how to solve intractable, intractable problems. Mm. Go to them. If you are not able to solve it, I will come again. I will come as the archivist, and I will devour it and send that impossibility into the sea of the impossible. But if you figure out how to pluck out a shard of mercy, I shall bless it. 
Oh, we're gonna pluck it. Hell yeah, redeem us, the day. Yeah. Evelyn tries to go for she a high five. Go right down the yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do yeah. it backwards. Uh, uh, redemption. Uh, 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 I told uh, you, this guy. Right? Yes. All we yes. gotta do Redeeming is bring people to the table. Uh, 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 That's a win. And I have, look at Evelyn, you know? and I'm like, so we gotta, we have to take this impossibility, right? We need to keep it with us. Yes. I don't want them to have it. With one of us. Should I feel like I'm the most neutral yeah. Yeah. of all and strongest. sides. So I think if Actually, someone's gonna hold it, than you. But anyway, you're very you strong. You're very strong. If I if if I understand correctly, I seem to guard this from everybody. Well, yes. And at this bow, that is that is so kick ass. The yeah. book. No, no the one will be able to slash, take that from you. Yeah. The book slash slash show version of this, mm -hmm. where Bobby is the one that has to fucking hold on to it. Kicks ass. Yeah, the Bobby like the episode wanderer. of that season yeah. kicks ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of responsibility. This. Yeah, but you won't get jumped by like wizards hitting you with books. Like <laughs> you're gonna be yeah. fine. True. This is true. You would. It'd be like a blender going through those nerds. <laughs> Bode at this point hands you this ornately stitched bag, and oh, says, nice. "This is what I was using to carry it." And he gives you a bag of holding, which you now have. Oh, okay. good. Nice. Very nice. Very safe. Is, is, is Bode going to come with us? Yeah. No, I was just, just going to say, I mean, I'm going to go over and I'm going to put my arm around his back. And I'm going to say, I don't know when they're going to take you from me again. But we have a month. I think we're going to touch this. We chunk. totally have a month. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Tem right, Tamara? I kiss him right in the middle of his forehead. <laughs> and he hugs you hard again, and he says, it's right up there. I'll, I'll be up here investigating the yeah, flame. I Do I yeah. see the, the obsidian <clears throat> yeah, chunk in there? it's in there, flames licking around. Is it, it. hot? It's actual yeah, fire? it is oh, actual it's real fire. fire. Yeah, yeah, it's real fire. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll just leave. I mean, I'll, I'll, I, I give it, I kiss his forehead, mm -hmm. and I walk up, and I take a breath. I prepare to like give him his guitar back, you know, kind of still like inspecting yeah, you it. Yeah, guys, you guys, I'll, I'm gonna look back and make sure that this moment concludes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see me like kind of pluck at it, and I'm like, uh, wish we got to know each other better. Maybe we still can. I like hand it back. Thank you. Hand. I, I can't, I can't hear it anymore. Fire. I can't listen to it anymore. Yeah. And I literally <laughs> stick. I would rather yeah. stick my hand into the fire than listen to this anymore. And it's too painful. He six as he touches the obelisk. I grab Bode. <laughs> like fully. Uh, and he he sort of tenses for a moment and then puts his arm yeah, it's big firmly around you. And I try to take him with us. And uh, as you as you touch the obelisk, your hand does burn. Yeah, uh, I know. It is it, hot. And just to be clear, we put the impossibility in the bag that Bob Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Yes. So you, uh, and Bode waves his hand as you walk over there, uh, Bobby, and the force field drops, and you are able to coax this it, the way it moves, oh, it's almost it's like, like an little, animal. It's like a little mm -hmm. creature. Yeah. It, this the the bag is it? Uh, is that snaps? Is it just a bag with handles? Uh, it has. Uh, it's a it's Cross a ring? knapsack. Okay, got oh. you. So I'll kind oh, of knapsack, that's nice. maneuver my way around it, not fully understanding like, what I've actually got. Mm -hmm. And it it just <laughs> into the bag, uh, and Omen, you burn for. Two fire damage as you as you touch. I'll put it in here. The final piece of obsidian, and as as you touch it, there is a volume of that sound that you have not experienced before. Oh, the the headache sound. The it the it screeches so loud, and for a moment in your mind you can see all of the pieces suddenly assemble, and you see bursting, in, this is in your mind, the entire obelisk uh, before you. Uh, and then you are all gone. But rather than 
suddenly appearing in another level of this place. You find yourself buffeted in, you feel like a windstorm. There is no ground beneath your feet. Dark winds are tearing at you. You can hear screaming in the distance and then a voice booms all around you. It says, there is is no no tomorrow. tomorrow. And then there is another boom. And you hear Asmodeus a voice you've heard many times before. And he says, Asmodeus, and you all hear it. This is the first Mm. time he has ever heard the voice where you all hear it too. I see you, and I see you trying to cross (laughs) hell. 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 We'll use use every every tool in its arsenal to stop you and that you flay you alive. alive. And you then see looming in this dark mist, his face, not not the dapper form that you have met before, but now giant horns stretching out a kind of terrifying beauty. And his claw reaches toward you, and you then will hear another voice that says, fuck, 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 <laughs> cast your spell. And there is a sudden whoosh, and you all fall onto the ground and realize you are on the floor of Vi's lab, standing next to her with his staff Whirling is your master, Morden Kanan himself. Oh, Morty. And, and Vi says, oh my honeys, we have been trying to pull you out there f- for days. Thank the gods, the stars, and the ground beneath my feet, you're here. And oh my goodness, do we have work to do. And that's where we'll end. Oh my oh. God. Oh. Uh, Amazing. Wow. Absolutely amazing.